I'm happy with that. That does the job. Directional, you can easily see it from down here now. The lights on the board perfectly. Happy man. Right, get your merch from HarrisonBrewery.com. So from one job to another, some of these tanks, these fermenters, let me just pan up and show you. They have a bit of a bit of a wobble on. That's because the floor's not even. Which is not a bad thing because obviously we want a slope in the brewery floor and by chance we've got one. But that means it can be a bit of an issue with the old wobbly wheels here and there. So what I'm doing today is just popping the wheels off and then sticking some washers in between the foot plate and the base plate of the casters to give me a bit of a lift in one corner. Uh, but I've just run out of the washers that I was using so I'm going to have to use six of these thinner ones which is going to be a little bit of a juggling act, but where we go, we've got six in, so I've done most of the others, and I'm just doing the last caster now. I had to do five of these, which hasn't been too taxing to be fair, it's gone relatively simply. We just had one stubborn bolt that didn't want to come out but we've sorted him it was that one actually so we'll see we'll see how it goes back together so i put the two front ones in and the nut on there to retain them i'm going to rotate the wheel around and as you can see it lets go and opens the back up or i imagine you can see that so i've got four of the good ones there so i'll just do the the ones with six in because they're the most awkward to get on. So six washers. Six washers onto the bolt. Nut through. And then these are lock nuts that go in on the bottom nylon. Lock nuts. They're relatively old but it's the outside of the tank so it's not a big deal and then we've got the last four washers the last nut oh that went smoothly right and then we just fasten them up taken the wobble out. That's worked perfectly so put the lock back on and that is another job done. We'll hose pipe all this rust away another day. So whilst one job is completed we moved on to another one. I don't know if anybody wanted to come and pick up some of those boxes of bottles that I had up there. I'm sorry they've all gone. First come first served basis I'm afraid and uh, well, somebody came first and they were indeed served first. So just a little bit of organising to do. These kegs have just come out of the carbonation area down here. And we need to, I had to swap them over and put these ones on carb. So they're on. So now I need to pull them out the rood and put them to one side. So we'll see if we can do that one-handed with the camera. Real 
pleased how this fork truck's working actually since we changed the wheels on it uh, last year it's a lot easier to move things around on there's a little bit more give on these tyres the ones that were on there previously they felt almost like rocks they were that hard the dust. Right, I have to go and check my email, see if there's CCTVs available to be collected from my Amazon Dropbox. So we've run a bit of a quick stock take. This is what we've got in stock at the moment. And then moving forward, that's the brew plan for next week and the week after. Vacant, vacant, bitter, mild. I've not done the mild yet for Harrison's Brewery, but we'll bring out the Mild Revolution recipe and uh, beef it up a bit. And then pork vacant, one of those vacants are gonna go into can, because we're low on can stock. And then bitter, and then we're gonna run a Nipah, similar to Secret City, but I haven't got the Victoria, the Vic Secret hops, so we're gonna have to figure something out for that one. So the two interesting days there, are the Thursdays, Mild, week one, and the Nipah, week two be interesting. So we've come home as it's a bit cold in the brewery and there's not a lot of work to do today and uh, well the chap who came across and took all the empty bottles left me some bedding for the uh, chickens so while we're at it I thought we'd change the bedding in the deep bed system as you can see it's worked really well if you look at this it looks like really good well broken down loamy compost this went in as quite a deep bed of shavings and now it's coming out as lovely soil and richness so we'll put this in the front garden and at the minute we're just going to get like a backhoe or something rake it all out into the wheelbarrow me and my little helper little Reginald and I've also noticed one of the chickens has got a clump of mud stuck to one of her toes it's the white one so we're going to have to fetch her out and give her a little bit of treatment well I'll not show you the whole garden because it needs a right tidy you alright girl? You can see the chunk of poo on her foot. She's got a big ball. We're gonna have to catch her. She's trying to shake it off. Ain't gonna happen, kid. So nice little nest boxes for them. Comes with their own curtains. Look, privacy, of course. When you lay laying eggs. All right, bud. So let's just shut this. Watch your feet, boy. So it's interesting to always have a look what they make of it. I'm just going to pull this piece of string here and this will open the board up on the inside and we'll see what they think of it. In fact, I might try and set up the camera so we can get a chicken's eye view. So they're all making a bit of a noise at the minute because we've just fetched this little lady out. Oh, she's got quite a firm comb on her. Um, leg bar. Hmm. Yeah? Black? Uh, no. No. Black, um Leghorn? Leghorn and white leghorn. So she's a white leghorn and she's got a ball of mud stuck to her nail and another one forming there. Reggie, bugger off. So we're gonna remove that for her. Let's have a look at her feet then. There we go, she's shivering a little she bit. She is. But that's because we've just uh, 
wet her feet but we used warm water to clean them up after we'd got that horrible lump it was off this toe wasn't it so that should come back round at some point but nice clean chicken feet do you want to pop her in Jam? just pop her in there I'm sure she'll be happy as Larry she'll make her own way out you going to roost Babby? I think there's a few others have come in yeah they have shall we drop the lid? we'll just have a look what they're doing they look gone out at us we've got one at Rhode Island Reds up there and the rest of them are all queuing up at the door ready to come in and enjoy their new bedding but isn't it nice girls black leg on is it in there that's um yeah same hatch time then isn't it the bantam's trying she's looking to come in come on then girls it's bedtime she knows something's different she's not sure what Did it? They knocked my camera over. <laughs> 